Hey, welcome back to the 21 day health challenge. I'm Ryan Howes, your guide, and today is day four. Continue practicing your five Tibetan rites, the nourishing practice that'll help you get that right energy. I hope it's going well. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them below. I'm outside right now, day before it rains quite a bit, just getting in this hike. I'm actually out here with one of my best friends and speaking about things that are nourishing, what's better than getting outside of nature with a close friend of yours? There's not much. No, that's it. Come on over and say hi. Yeah. I met this guy several years ago. He's super inspiring. This is Matt. Yeah. And uh, we met at a climbing gym quickly became friends, told me a story about getting healthy. He's got a wife and two kids, and he wanted something to inspire his boys, his whole family, to embark on that journey of health. And this guy right here and I went to the Teton Mountains a year yeah. after deciding that we wanted to go climb there. And we focused that whole year on you know, fitness, on health, using food, the outdoors to do adventures, and Within that year, some big changes happened, and we showed up ready, and we had so yeah, much it was fun. The best time ever. <laughs> yeah, it really was. Dude, best and, ever. And we stood on the summit of the Grand Teton, the highest mountain there on the ridge. And I remember asking, like, what's the hardest thing that you've ever done in your life? Yeah. Woo! yeah. Grand Teton! Yeah! Oh! yeah! What a beautiful place! Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! How you feeling, man? Unbelievable, dude! <laughs> I don't even know what to say. How many hours have we been at this? Oh, uh, I have to look at my smashed screen. Uh, <laughs> you dropped his phone. <laughs> Some guy found it. I, I can't believe it. Uh, so we're talking to his wife because she called my phone, and. I'm like, did you call because he lost his phone? She's like, yes. <laughs> Next thing you know it, through the conversation, it's like an angel just appeared on a ledge above me and he yeah. just hands the phone. I'm like. Oh, it was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> He's never, Woo! and the angels never climbed anything in his life. And he free soloed what we just did with ropes. And he's about to climb back down. Oh my God. Man. This is insane. Wow. This is really amazing. What's the hardest thing you've ever done in your life? This. By far, this. It's the most amazing day in my life, besides getting married and raising kids. That's about it. Unbelievable. I'm so glad to be part of this with you, my friend. Oh, it's so good. You're awesome, bro. <laughs> now let's get back home and see you little kids. All right, let's do it, dude. Let's do it. Woo! Yeah! Yeah. Well, besides that mountain, that was the best thing I've ever done in my life is my kids and my wife. Yeah. And besides that, that mountain was the best thing I ever did. Definitely the hardest thing I've ever done. Mm. So, yeah, it mm. was great. Great, man. Yeah, the thing that I love most about being outside of nature and doing these different outdoor activities is that you just get this this whelming sensation of joy and happiness. And when you get back home, that memory lasts. And you can do the things uh, every single day to keep yourself just fired up and ready to go for that ne next adventure. You know, And we're going to start talking about some of those things, namely nutrition and how much that is the foundation of, of your health. It is, for sure. It so really is. what helped me the most was changing the way I treated my body. And he knows well, and so do I, because yeah. we both have had, you know, some health crises in the past that yeah. we completely changed, starting with changing our diet. That's right, number one, Yeah. For sure. You yeah. want to share a little bit about what happened with you? Yeah, I was probably 80 pounds overweight. My wife and I, we couldn't have children. We didn't know what was going on, and they were going to give us a bunch of chemicals and we decided that we were going to change our diet and change the way we treated ourselves and see if that helped. And within, geez, I don't know, three or four months, she was pregnant and off we went. And it just, that was the, the beginning of, 
you know, I lost over 80 pounds and it was uh, quite a journey. It took a long time, but it's led me to be able to do things in my life I never thought I would do. And uh, what's better than that? So complete 180. Love it. So much happier. And that's going to last your entire life. Yeah, that's it. I'll never do anything. I won't do it any different ever. That's right. I'm glad. I'm so happy I found this because I can't imagine where I'd be without it. The nature, the exercise, the nutrition, it's all, it's all part of it. So it's huge. And the difference between that past and right now is a choice. That's right. It's just a decision. And the decision is hard. But what's harder is just to stay where you are, I promise you, because that, that road is just fraught with all kinds of challenges that one decision can completely change. Yep. Yeah, and that power is with you, and we're here to support you. Again, yeah. keep practicing those rights because that is truly the essence, the breath, the movement, and we'll see you tomorrow. Keep practicing. <laughs> Lots of love. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah. Peace.